My name is Noel, Noel Mallet. Um, I used to play a character called Ugla. Um, I was at the very first renewal 25 years ago, um, and I was an ogre, and I was the second in command of the Vipers. And I also led a regiment of orcs and goblins. And I always wanted to share stories of those orcs and goblins, and I wasn't quite sure how to do it. And then when, when I when I had a, my sons were born, I started telling them bedtime stories, and I realised that if I tamed the stories down, I could I could share my my tales of these wonderful orcs and goblins with them, and turn them into children's bedtime stories. So I'd like to tell you one of those stories now, and the story is called Grindle and the Mushroom Soup. Once upon a time, there was a goblin called Grindle who lived with his friends in a cave in the creepy crawly woods in the middle of the hardlands. Now being a goblin, Grindle would get up at sunset every day and explore the creepy crawly woods, taking his bow and arrows with him to hunt rabbits and squirrels for his dinner. But his favourite food was mushrooms. One evening, out in the creepy crawly woods, he couldn't find anything to hunt. Mushrooms were out of season. He had no money to buy any food, so he went back to the cave, very sad and hungry. When he got there, Bilge had been to the market, and he'd bought a bag full of button mushrooms. And he was making a cauldron full of the most delicious mushroom soup. Just as the goblins were about to sit down and eat the soup, Horrock, the big bossy orc, arrived. Hello, goblins, he said. That soup smells nice. Please let me try some. He dipped his thumb in for a toast. Oh, he said, needs a bit of salt and pepper. So Bilge turned round to fetch the salt and pepper. Horrock picked the cauldron up and drank the whole lot down in a one -up. and then he scarped out of the cave, accidentally dropping a couple of coins out of his purse as he did so. Oh no, said Gobba, what will we have for dinner now? Don't worry, said Grindle, holding up two great big gold sovereigns. Horrock must have dropped these on the way out. So, the goblins decided to spend the gold sovereigns at Stumper's Tavern, the pit and sweat, at the edge of the creepy crawly woods. They had an amazing feast of roast lamb, roast potatoes and cabbages, all washed down with a goblet. After their meal, they were very full very contented. So Grindle led them back through the creepy crawly woods, back to their cave. When they got ready, they all had a good night's sleep. Now, that's my story. First of about six or seven that I've written with the help of my friends. I've illustrated it and you can find me on Facebook and uh, on some ebook stores and I'm hoping next year to do a Kickstarter and share it with uh, anyone that wants to join in and support me. Thank you.